Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? This is Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Legionnaires. Welcome back, new recruits. Appreciate you guys. Been growing a little slowly these past couple days. Ecstatic, just ecstatic. You know, um, every new recruit is just a blessing, and I appreciate everybody. So in front of you, you guys see the Blackjack Model 1.7 with stacked leather handle, 7-inch blade with A2 steel. I'm excited to show this to you guys. I'm in Atlantic City this weekend, so I'm in the room while the ladies go and gamble. Money that we don't have. Ha ha. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait to show this to you guys, man. It's a pretty badass blade. And, uh, you know, really fortunate that I can own one of these. Uh, before they go like sky high through the roof cost, you know, with, with uh, the way everything with prices is going out through the roof. I got this particular model in uh, Blade HQ for like, I don't know, $222, I think it was. I'm going to post a pic and a link. Um, but you know what? After this video, if you guys are interested, I suggest you um, go to Blade HQ and pick up whatever they have because... I don't, you know, I don't know how much more uh, these companies are, you know, going to start jacking up their prices, man. They're already high, these knives. So, all right. So, before we get into the knife again, um, what's in your pocket, guys? This week, I am carrying my Al Marcia. This has been my go-to knife lately. I also have a Swiss Army tool in my left pocket. Let me know what you guys are carrying in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Vets and military, you guys are completely and totally welcome here. Let us thank you for your service. Comment below if you want, but we do appreciate you. All right. Now, shout outs. So, yeah, I want to shout out a couple people. Jersey Knife Guy. Um, he showed us that Rough Rider Reserve Clasper. And because of that video, I decided to buy one. I think that... Rough Rider Reserve is awesome. Thanks, Pete. Appreciate the video. Also, hey, it's the Johnson family. You gotta check out that channel. I'm gonna post the link up here on the screen and in my comments section, and you gotta check that family out. They are great. They've got a family core that is just so important. You know, a nuclear family vibe. They are awesome. Check out that channel. Also, check them out on Instagram, okay? So, Definitely check them out. All right, guys, so I don't have any paperwork in front of me. I mean, I don't have a printer to print anything out, so I'm just going to go by memory. Um, this is the uh, Blackjack Knives Model 1.7. This is a fighting knife for sure. So the blade steel is A2. It is a 7-inch blade clip point, and in my opinion, long clip point. Beautiful knife, uh, nickel silver bolsters for the handguard and the butt cap. I think this handle is five inches and it is gorgeous stacked leather. I mean, seriously amazing. Okay, we have a hole for a lanyard. Um, this is a stick tang and they've got it, they've got everything screwed on with a, with a, uh, not over here, which is okay by me because this is a, a fighting knife. Take a look at the other side. Wow. There it is. A2 steel made in the USA. This is just a fantastic blade. I am extremely fortunate that I was able to purchase one. Now, I got this, ladies and gentlemen at Blade HQ. I was looking for the Commando handle, but I wasn't able to find one with a decent price. So I just opted for this particular handle over here, which is fine because when I took it out of the box, the grip on this thing is just so positive, so amazing. Any way that I hold this grip, it's just phenomenal. Okay, even the reverse grip just feels really, really great in the hand. Um, just, just fantastic. Okay. I mean, if you were to even do the close up work, here's the, this choil area, you could wrap your fingers around the guard. Okay. And you could really do some, some serious 
stabbing work. You can also put your hand or your thumb right on top here on the on the spine. There is no there is no jimping. Um, it's, everything is just smooth. The uh, edge on this blade is convex. If you could see. I mean, just just phenomenal. Um, now, Bark River makes this knife for blackjack. You know what? Fine by me. I don't care. This knife is fantastic. Really, really nice. I mean, look at that. Look at that guard. Just look at that guard. And you can see the little different colors inlays that they used over here. The liners, I guess there's, these are coal liners. I'm not sure. Anybody can help me out with that comment. That would appreciate it in the comment section below. But phenomenal. Just, just amazing. When I first took it out of the box, I, I couldn't believe how comfortable. I, I thought I was going to be disappointed with this grip, but no way. I mean, I am, I'm happy with it. Completely happy with it. So, but I do plan on getting the Commando grip version, which is a little bit more contour. And I'll put a picture up so you could see. And if I do buy a Commando version, this is going up for sale um, because I, I kind of want the Commando version. Uh, but what a beautiful, very positive grip. I do not regret buying this model with this grip. It's just fantastic. Uh, I have to look on the internet for the proper specs, but it'll probably be up on the screen. It's not too thick. It's a nice thin blade. This is definitely a slicer with this convex edge, as you could see. See that convex grind right there? I love it. I think it's beautiful. This is totally a tool for war, in my opinion. Yes, you could use it out in the field. Yes, you could use it for some bushcrafting, but this is, you know, a tool of war for sure. Um, even this reverse grip right here, if you're going to cut somebody's throat, God forbid, but, you know, in the military, if you are one of those operators and you're going to do, you know, some nasty work, I mean, just this whole, this grip alone, you know, is just amazing. Um, very positive. They they did they really engineered a fantastic knife. Uh, blackjack knives. Um, I know Randall is the original, but um, thank God for blackjack knives, or thank God for Bark River making these knives because these are way more affordable. Two totally separate companies, two totally separate knives. Make no mistake, but still, I am very grateful that I could at least afford this one. And I didn't have to wait. I got this in a couple of days after I ordered it from Blade, Blade HQ. Definitely check out Blade HQ because they still have a few of these. And anybody interested in this should definitely pull the trigger. Absolutely 100%. I think it was $222. But anyway, I will put up the link and a picture up on the screen so you get to see the actual price. Now, it did come with this nice sheath. And as you can see, it is labeled bark river knives it's it's an awesome sheath um the only thing i wish that this sheath had was that little pouch with the sharpening stone because i think that looks cool you know and uh even if if that sharpening stone it was wasn't in on the leather sheath that that pouch alone would have made this look way way cooler in my opinion but this is a well done sheath as you can see nicely stitched Generous loophole. Okay, this is more for a belt carry, you know, but I'm sure that you could buy secondary um, sheaths out there in the market. But this is just a classic sheath. It is done so well. I just, I, I love it. It's just fantastic. And I am so appreciative to even show my legionnaires out there this wonderful knife and this wonderful sheath. So, yeah, man. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me put the knife in here, okay? Ooh, it's a tight fit. All right. Nice. This is the, actually the first time I'm putting it, putting the uh, knife in the sheath. So, yeah, this is great. I mean, look at that. Look at the fit on that. No rattle. Nice and quiet. You know, special forces operator, a real true operator, you know, who's going to go do some dirty work. This, this might be a pretty damn fine knife for you out in the field all right now i just want to show the collector you know the box 
because I think the box is pretty special too, um, especially for the collectors. So, and this is the box, ladies and gentlemen. No gimmicks, just performance. Blackjack knives, classic blades, and that's what it is. A decent box for you guys to store it someplace safe. That's the model number, BCB7L. Let's check out the other side. Blackjack knives, classic blades, model 1.7, stacked leather. Okay, made in America. All right. It's a great box. I love it. So for the collector, you know, you've got yourself something nice that you could put your knife back in there after viewing it. And, you know, you could put it away safely. Um, the, the sheath was wrapped in a plastic. And the knife was wrapped in this, uh, this paper. So just a little heads up on the box for the actual true collector. But yeah, um, fan fantastic knife, guys. Just a fantastic blade. Um, wow, it's just amazing. You know A2 Steel is damn good, and you know that Bark River is going to do a fine job with heat treat and quality. Okay? Look at that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. The, the, the leather is just seamless. I mean... It's just done so well. Um, you know what? Maybe in the comments, somebody let me know. How I, would I protect this? You know, is there something that you, that you could, guys can suggest that I could put on this leather um, to protect it? If you know, let me know. All right? All right. Cool, guys. All right. Let me know again what's in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate the people who keep on uh, commenting. You know, I, I always... You know, there's some people out there who just change their EDC every day, and I love to know what you guys are carrying, so I appreciate it. And again, I am carrying the Al Marcier 2000. Great, great pocket knife. I'm also carrying a uh, Swiss tool on my left side pocket. Let me know what you guys are carrying. Vets Military, thank you so much for your service. We appreciate you guys. Please comment below. Let us know who you are. We want to thank you for your service. And last but not least, I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. Other content creators have been saying that this number has been going down, but we still have this problem in the United States. Service members, they come out of the military and they face a lot of challenges. And one of these challenges, unfortunately, is suicide. I'm going to post a phone number up on the screen. I'm going to post links to websites. And... You know, please, guys, gals, seek help. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Legionnaires, new recruits, I appreciate everybody. You guys are awesome. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, I just want you guys to know doing a lot of these videos has been healing a healing process for me. Um, so, and one of these days, I'm going to make a video stating what happened and why that this is so important. And... Uh, you know what? I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. And you guys take care of yourselves. Stay sharp. Take care. Bye-bye.